It's the Bag Pint Messi here, Jamie Walker. You are listening to the City Ring. Are the fucking chickens? Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of the City Event. As you can see, we've got a wonderful man sat next to us. Um, Bowers is his number one fan. I'm not going to say much more than that, but welcome Jamie, how are you doing mate? Yeah, I'm good. Um, it's a pleasure to, to be on here and look forward to it. Yeah. Pleasure to have you, so we're absolutely buzzing, aren't we? Well, yeah. Jamie Walker's like number one in it, yeah. on the yeah, list of players to get. And he's, he's so humble and whatever, he's got his coffee in front of him as well. <laughs> Big coffee fiends. So we're going to do a bit of an icebreaker just to start and get a few answers from from him. First question is, who's the worst trainer at the football club? Actually, I watched Harry Lewis's interview yeah. where he done it. Yeah. And he said that uh, Scott Banks, so I'll go with that. You're going to well. stick with it? Yeah, he's going back you know to what's, the You know what's funny? We saw Banks after Doncaster game and he went, I'm fuming. I can't believe he said that about him. It was much worse, didn't it? Yeah, he was livid. Is that an easy target though? Is it just because he's an easy target, like a little brother job? Or, uh, or nah, is he actually a bad player? No, I feel Scott's going to do that. Yeah, no. He'll, he'll, he'll be fuming that after a month of the bus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, unbelievable ability to be put around and class. You know, he's still young. He's lovely to get to be here. Yeah. World at his feet, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this might be him as well, but who's got worse trim? Uh, well, he goes to the same barber as me, so, <laughs> <Does it? laughs> so I can't really see him. Yeah. Um, but probably yeah. maybe uh, Roman Lou. He's got, you reckon? He's got, Not I wouldn't say a bad trim, but it's quite funky. Yeah, yeah it's funky, isn't it? It's, it's out there, in it? A little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought you were going to say Banks again. I thought it was going to get holiday here a bit, but anyway, we'll take it. I've seen that a few people saying it's got like a tennis ball head in that. Yeah. But saying, saying about trims, Jamie, you've had some bad ones, mate. <laughs> Haven't you? Let's be honest. Yeah, I've had a few bad Little Grealish going uh, on. Yeah, I think a few people have probably seen that yeah. um, on the city event, obviously. Yeah. Twitter, but I've just put that down to lockdown now. Can you get a haircut? I don't know, that, but that, that band went in nice, <laughs> didn't it? We're all purple. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Push back. Yeah, you mentioned it. You need that. a bit like tapered and a bit yeah. fade at the side, but. Yeah. What were blonde one all about? A bit of a gazer going on at some point. It looked blue, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I think, yeah. yeah. A bit of a shocker, wasn't it? Uh, it was Neil Alexander, remember the old keeper? Yeah. He was at Cardiff and that. Yeah, he yeah. took that photo. Did he? I think he was like, he was a bit older when he was at Hearts. He was like, maybe getting like 38, 39, and he just came into social media, you know what I mean? The one yeah, name. He's loving it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. like, like, like your like, granddad. Yeah. Yeah. Fire that up on, it, on uh, social media and everything yeah. was buzzing. How long ago that? I think how many years ago that? Because you look young in that. Maybe it's five, six years ago, yeah. yeah. So if anyone's not seen that, um, we'll put it on Twitter. Yeah, we'll post <laughs> it's, it. it's a shocker, isn't it? It's a bit of a Ford and sort of uh, blonde head going on, isn't it? We're stressed with that bit. To be fair, this is probably a common answer, but my, my gear's not the best. Like, at the training ground, uh, <laughs> just use like night training wear, like stuff like that. And, uh, got a bit stuck from my voice. Yeah. Like being a PT and that, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. I'll see you, man. Yeah. Take it, take it. Yeah, so uh, we're going to move on now to um, just ask where it all began, feeling football. Um, I think everyone knows, you know, I was born in Scotland, obviously grew up in Edinburgh, played for a few local clubs, and then obviously since for, for Hearts when I was maybe like nine, ten years old, uh, like everyone does, they go into the academy, and uh, no, I think everyone knows that was my, my boyhood club, so uh, it was great to be there. Uh, Still a lot of hard work, obviously, over the years, as you know. Um, it's just the, the start of the journey, and thankfully, you know, I made my way through the, the youth teams and you know, got a, a chance for the first team. Yeah. Then you moved on to the LBC captain's youth club as well. Yeah. Which, what was that like? What an honour. Um, yeah, it was great. Uh, I don't think I was actually the captain at the time. You got the band. You've got to remember it. I think, yeah, I you think are, there was a few, uh, it. a few injuries at yeah. the time. I'm sure I captained them um, from the start one game against Patrick Fissel. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they went off with concussion, so it wasn't a good start. And then uh, a few games after, I got the armband. And when the captain got subbed, so yeah, it was a huge honour. Um, and you know, growing up, I just wanted to play one game for them. You know, maybe score one goal and um, to play well, two hundred and forty times. And you know, I think I was maybe the first player in 10, 20 years to, to score more than fifty goals. So um, you know, it was a great honour. And I look back on that time with, with great memories. Yeah, incredible, really. It's everyone's dream, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, imagine us playing for City. I know, one, one, one like five minutes on pitch, do me. But the team being Derry as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, no. yeah. Good point. Yeah, we struggle, won't we? Obviously, memorable goals as well. Scoring against Celtic. What sort of stands out for you when you're playing Scotland goal wise? Is that the one? Um, no, probably the one that stands out for me is against Hibs and Edinburgh Derby. Yeah. It's, it's weird because my dad had. Uh, I think he got given like a bottle of whiskey or something from from, from before when I made my debut, and he says like when you score your first goal against Hibs in the Derby. Yeah. And um, I drink the whiskey, so I think he drank it that night. And it was. He was steaming. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. But there's another goal that stands out for me, to be fair. It was just before I came here. Yeah. And like, 
Ten good number three was coming to an end, and you know I hadn't played at all that season. I don't think I'd started a game in the league, mm. and I, then again we had a few injuries, and you know we were playing Dundee away. It was a foggy like freak day. Of the play. Honestly, it was <laughs> and that, and it was now now it was the worst game I've ever seen. So I think the gap was just fucked. Up. No, I've, I've tried everything else, I mean, Walker got ready, yeah. <laughs> chucked me on, and uh, obviously scored the, the winner that yeah. day. Obviously, my son was at the game, it was my last goal for Hearts and that, so that's yeah. one that I look back with, you know, and fond memories. And, a bit of an emotional yeah. before you left it. Yeah. It's incredible, really, like, that, you know, you've left that club, because it must have been an hard decision. I mean, was it the ball in your court, because you weren't getting game time to actually move away then? Um, yeah, it was a bit strange how it happened, because, you know, after that goal, I was always on the bench and, you know, I just never really got yeah. on in that. I was I was set on leaving, you know, to, to play more, I'm getting a bit older, I wanted to play games and, you know, after that goal, it kind of changed my mind and the momentum maybe, the manager's thinking a little bit. Yeah. And he's, I spoke to him a few times and he was obviously like, well, you can stay if you want, you know, I'll leave the decision up to you. Yeah. And um, we've played a lot of games where you deserve that respect, so yeah. on and so forth, so. And then I think we, the COVID came back again, didn't it? Yeah, it back. So I was going to see what happened the next few games if I started, if not, and I think we played Ross, Count, uh, Ross County the next game. And then uh, I came on again, I was like, fair enough, like I'm playing a bit more, more game time. I think we maybe had two or three, four games before the window opened again. And I thought, we'll see how these games go and, you know, just take it from there, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, Covid came back, the games got, the, uh, we've got a winter break in Scotland. So they just pushed the winter break back and cancelled the games. So I didn't really have an option and I just thought, you know, it was the best for me to, yeah. to, to, to leave to, to play games, yeah. So how did Bradford come about? Because, you know, when it broke, we were all like, <clears throat> how were we signing you? You know, really, weren't we? We were yeah. absolutely buzzing because you, you're top level. I mean, for me, mm -hmm. you know, in this league, yeah. you're well above. I'm not just saying that because yeah, I genuinely mean that. And Bowers will agree with me on that one, I'm sure. But, but yeah, I mean, what, why did you sign for Bradford? Did you have other clubs in for you at the time as well? And it was probably the first time in my career where, like, I was kind of at the end of football, you know what I mean? Obviously, I listened to Harry's podcast when he was saying he left Southampton and, you know, he never really had much on the table. And, you know, I find that incredible because he's an incredible goalkeeper. Yeah. But, I was kind of in the same situation. Yeah. Like it was the first time in my career where I hadn't really played. You know, I had a few clubs in Scotland that were that were decent clubs, but not probably what I wanted. And you know, one day I was just walking the dog and I looked at my phone and like this number came up, <laughs> and obviously like I answered it and it was like Derek Adams, obviously. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. Obviously asking what my situation was and like because it wasn't set in stone that I was leaving. If I if I was fancy it and you know. I played at Valley, played a few times. Yeah, for Peter Brown and that. You played for Wigan as well. When Ivan Tony scored that goal from the half. I'll stop it, I remember that. Was that 4 0 that? 4 0 or something. It ran cup on it, I think. I thought like. Right, got that. Yeah, I thought like. This stadium's like unbelievable. Like, how did they like. I thought like a career, play for Wigan, and like back home perhaps. Like, how did clubs like this? I'm not interested. That's what I was thinking when I was like playing, and then obviously like it came up and I had played at Bradford before. and I just thought, yeah, like I fancy that. Well, yeah. Yeah. Bit of a project in it, really. I think. Yeah. Same with yeah. like Mark Hughes, when you look at the players that come and play for us, it's, you see it as a bit of a project, yeah. don't you? And try and get us out of the doldrums where we should be, I guess you might say. Yeah, I think, like, I've said it since I came here, like, I think a poor season, bare minimum, you know, the club should be middle table, league one, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, and that's a poor season. So, yeah, I've said it all along, you know, it's, League Two is not an easy league to get out of, but, you know, I still think that's a position now, and, you know. There's 12 games left, if we can win a few more of them, then I think we'll, we'll be right up there. So just another question for me on the Bradford City uh, signing. So you were in Amsterdam, obviously the player awards last season. At that point, did you have a lot of other offers then as well? So obviously we got you on loan, didn't we, initially? And then... I had a few, but, like, but there was nothing really set in stone. And, you know, as soon as I wanted to keep me, and I think if you go to another club, I'm going to be starting again, that I mean, yeah. trying to win the band over, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, when my spot said that he wanted to keep me, it was a, it was a no brainer for me. And, you know, I was still to get it sorted, yeah. Yeah, and, and you've really embraced living in Bradford as well, which a lot of players do that. I don't, I don't know how many of the squad actually live yeah. in Bradford. There's not many though, is there? Uh, no, I think, you know, I'll play a few like Andy and that, they will come up north. Yeah. Uh, there's a few from like Manchester away and that, and there's not many local like boys in the team, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I like it. You know, some players really quiet. I think yeah. like it. And then, you know, we've really, really probably settled here more than we have at any other club really? away from home, yeah. So we love it. And, you know, I'm just hoping that I can get back to, to, to really do my best and you know, give the end of the season a big push. Yeah. I think we see it as a big commitment, though, yeah. when a player That's moves true. and lives in Bradford, because yeah. you see a lot, like you say, travel from all over. There's a lot of boys in the North East. You kind of like that, don't you? Yeah, because you've kind of got them in the heart of the city. Yeah. And you can see when. 
silly as it sounds where you go, oh, I've been in there. Yeah, yeah I've been in there. I've had a bit of yeah. affiliation with it. I think even yeah. like more of this season, like yeah. the, the, the book of players that we have have kind of embraced like playing for Bradford and embraced the, the stuff in the community and stuff like that. Whereas me looking from the outside before, I thought that like, people just came here and played and they just leave, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. I think that's why we're 14th, 15th in League 2, but I think, you know, we've got a great group that, you know, everyone's pushing for the same thing. You've seen them, we scored the winner again. Just, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, subs are on the bed, like, yeah. the bench is yeah. up, like, everyone's celebrating. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think, like, people might show it in different ways, where it's like, some people do this, that might not be their cup of tea, you know what I mean? But I think everyone's embraced and trying to get what everyone wants is promotion, you know what I mean? So, He's saying show it in different ways, and I'm smiling yeah. at him, because obviously, yeah. the, if everybody saw his reaction, when yeah. the goal went in, I'm not going to pick that apart too much, but that were incredible. It wasn't even like that much. I was just like, there's been a few games this season where yeah, it's yeah. like, it's been so frustrating the way yeah. they've played. Mm-hmm. And obviously, like, they've just wasted time for what what was it, 91, 92? Right? Literally, yeah. yeah. So we score a goal. Right, <laughs> right, like, goes down injured, you know what I mean? Yeah. So straight away, they're like, the ref, like, time wasting time. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Like, mate, you've just wasted time yeah. for 91 minutes and then you're complaining about that. And you're like, can you give me a wee, like, clout over the head? Right. And I was like, I feel a bit regret a bit now, but... <laughs> no, don't regret it. We love but that. No, we like, love it. You and I. just like, at this awesome. time in the moment, I just thought, fine. Like, yeah. Where is it? <laughs> I loved it. You, you sprinted, didn't you? We were, watching it. we were looking for the footage everywhere, yeah. weren't we? And like, somebody managed to put it on and you came up where everyone was celebrating over there and you went, right, fuck this, I'm going back here. I think he like, <laughs> pushed Vizel, remember? He yeah. was yeah. at the... Oh, yeah, that was yeah. the roadside, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also Davey were giving it, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, that was funny. Yeah. Like, it's funny. No, <laughs> it was the arms out. We're at arms out, right? He just sort of stood in front of him then just... His arm just threw up in there. We love a bit of that. Just followed him. You can really see the team, can't you, this season? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I was saying that after the game because a few people maybe asked me what happened. Yeah. And I was saying, like, obviously, like, Lennon, that was asked me in the gap, and I was saying, like, I'm sick of like, people coming to Valparaiso and, like, doing yeah. that to, like, the cop and yeah. when they scored the winner and that. Like, it's nice for us to, like, try and do it to, like, yeah. give a bit to someone else and show that we actually care about the football club and that. Really. And bully teams a bit as yeah, well, yeah. you know. Yeah. We, we don't do that enough, do we? At all? No, we don't. It's nice, we're really nice to see it yeah. and get a result at home as well because yeah. we made it out for a few yeah. weeks. I miss at home. It's quite, it's hard to be fair. I think the way we play, um, you know, oh. it suits us a bit more away from home when teams come out, like, yeah. join them and that. Really. Oh, well, won the yeah. game mm-hmm. comfortably and they were on a good run as well yeah. so and I think just at home and they sit in the little block and they stop the game and start the game and like mm-hmm. it's tough but you know that's what teams are going to do they try and frustrate us they know it's going to be a big crowd they try and frustrate yeah. the crowd that's just football so it's up to us to, to try, and, try and break them down it's like a cup final isn't it when they come and play us in this division just because you're the biggest team in there yeah, yeah. I've always said that all along the season as well I think obviously when they go to week one like, the Barnsleys and teams like that, they're not going to come to back and sit behind the ball, are they? They're going to come and think, like, we'll game a game, and I think the way we play, um, it could suit us a lot more if we, if we mm-hmm. do get a final goal, which we want promotion. Yeah, you've yeah. sort of said that, haven't we? You know, like, you yeah, know, like, we, think we think that... We think more suited for the higher level. Definitely. Sort of play. Because you want teams to open up a bit, don't you? And then that's when you find those gaps in the field and, and what... I mean, you're, you're best, best game for me this season with Gillingham. I thought you were yeah, absolutely yeah. incredible. I don't know if you felt like yourself, but... Yeah. You just, everything, they looked absolutely yeah. terrified of you. Yeah, it came like that. Obviously, I, I came and, you know, I was... As I said, I was going to get out of his envy footy. And, yeah. and I was looking at other things, what I could do away from footy and where I was going to go. And then, obviously, like, I came here and it kind of reignited, like, my career a little bit, you know what I mean? And, the fans have took to me fantastically and you know I appreciate it so much. Kids and that love living, you know, in yeah. the city and you know it kind of just like gave me my spot back and you know to, to get injured obviously after the first game was, was devastating. Yeah. Obviously came back, got a red card which you know <laughs> yeah. wasn't wasn't fantastic and then obviously well, I was out for a little bit. So it's been a just stop start season but you know I'm delighted to be back now and you know hopefully yeah. between now and the end of the season I can, can really help the team where we want to get to. We were discussing the red card bumper before and it's yeah. like I, I kind of I like that about your game yeah. that you live on the edge of it and yeah. you know you, you fly into stuff because there's times where they're, they're messing about back at Valley Parade for example and you're flying in <laughs> there's been occasions this season where you've just like flown yeah. in a goalkeeper or whatever and you're going to pick up cards right? it's just part of your game um, yeah I think you know after the run of the game like the capital wasn't too happy with <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm just thankful that they actually held out from them now yeah. you know I could have been on the end of our thing, but uh, I think he even said after that game that you know that's the way I play. I play on the edge, and um, I always like, try to win the ball back and win the ball higher up the pitch. I think since we changed the diamond, it's kind of changed the, the way I play a little bit because 
I'd go impress is that with Andy as a second striker, obviously yeah. maybe the runs you're talking about out to the full backs and active press. Um, but now because we've got the dam, there's two up front, I'm a bit more like in, in the middle when I've got each step forward to press for Andy. So Do you prefer that? Um I don't know, I think like see my best game, it's always when I'm playing on the edge and yeah. you know I do something good early doors and you can I think my dad said that from a young age you can tell from like the first fifteen twenty minutes, you know, if I'm, if I'm gonna have a good yeah. game. Um, but yeah, that's just the way I play and a few times after obviously I've had a yellow card like don't cast it early doors but yeah. you know, I just don't want to get that again because I got to be too hard Picking some cards up this season. Yeah. But it's nice to see though passion. That's that's one thing that we've always said through stands. Mm-hmm. We just want to see people the players actually putting shit like wanting yeah. to win. Playing for shirt, you know, properly playing for, play for yeah. shirt and putting everything in yeah. and you do that. And I think that like I'm used to that obviously like three for half, but yeah. because it was the club I supported, it's like you yeah. you guys played at Rafa, but yeah. I think maybe coming here I've took the same mindset from that because it's a big football club and you know the way I press and the way I like, represent myself. So then obviously we've talked quite a lot about you like, playing for Bradford and living in the city now. So what, what's your sort of favourite memory so far playing for Bradford City? Is there one that stands out? Um, it's been quite hard because obviously I've been here for maybe a year now but mm. I've had my hamstring injury last year and I've had my knee injury this yeah. year so um, it's been tough but I'd probably say Maybe like my first goal for the club, you know what I mean? Yeah. That was a good moment. Obviously the cows weren't as big last year. They were still good cows, yeah. but they were as good last year as they were this year. But I thought I'd you know, go for that. But you know, I'm hoping there's a big one coming into the season and that'll be you know, my best moment. Went yeah. for a 40 yard screen yeah. round. I keep asking him now, uh, not going in for miles away. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's part of your game, isn't it? Shooting, yeah. that's what you're all about. I scored a few hearts from the lane, but most of them were shooting in the box, aren't they? Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, luckily. Between now and the yeah. season, I'm sure. Definitely, yeah. We'll <laughs> that's really hard. Yeah, that'll <laughs> do, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah that's good, <laughs> wouldn't it? Last, last game of the yeah. season. So, yeah, we've got a couple of bits that um, some some of your friends and family have given on you. So, I'm not going to let you look at my sheet, Jamie, because that's cheating. <laughs> uh, just just to the quick one as well. We're having a beer, but Jamie in because obviously he doesn't drink on a school night. So, he's very very well behaved. Is he keen on diet sparkies, by the way? Do you have like a dietitian or a CEO? Or is it more like look after yourself? No, we do, obviously, like, there's standards at the club. And um, the people always, like, see when I go home or I go in, the, like, the first question people ask me is, like, not about the club or the fans, yeah. it's about, like, Mark Pugh, it's not me. Really? It's because he's that big a name in football, mm-hmm. like, everyone yeah. knows who he is. Carries a bit of weight, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, so that's what, like, the, the question that they answer me the most, but it's quite quiet around, like, the training rooms and that. Yeah. Linda's a lot of the training. He's a lot of the chat as well. And uh, I think like the medical staff also like do the, the body fat and yeah. fitness testing and that and they also report back to the gaffer and then if they say anything that's like they don't know happy about them, they'll let you know what I mean. So yeah, yeah it's good. Good. And uh, what about for you, Robinson with the uh, six cheeseburgers with that? Not true. No idea what we're talking about. Were you after that? Uh, do you not play with field then? Do you? No, I did, but I came uh, in the January, didn't I? Right. So you want, you want your long way after that then? Nah. I always like to ask, because yeah, we're still, we're still not sure about the six cheeseburgers yeah. before a game, apparently. Not too sure on that. John Suter, um, obviously you've played with him. Yeah. You're laughing now, aren't you? You probably know what's coming. <laughs> so he told us a bit of a story because you used to drive your missus's car, didn't you, into um, training. You know what's yeah. coming, don't you? And uh, you were the lights, weren't you? I'll let you tell a story about bumping into his car. Yeah. I'll let you go yeah, ahead with this one. I'm like... <laughs> He used to stay at mine after a Thursday night because he was from Brecon. Yeah. So it's pretty far away, it's up north of Scotland. We were obviously in Edinburgh. So, like, my, we had like, my missus had a car before I met her, it was like a Citroen C3, it was like pro- proper. Was it? <laughs> yeah. So, like, every time we were at the lights, like, he had like quite a nice car, and uh, I just like go into the back of him. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just like bump out the back, I mean, like, a lot of people like walking past in the road and like driving, and I'm like, what like, the hell is this guy doing that? Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I just like, I just felt laughing. Like, yeah, I'd take that car to the train. I'm like, we had two cars with me, we had the other one. Yeah. Like, I've never, like, never been that bothered. So and the car just like gave up one one uh, one morning, I'm driving the train, and like, that was it. Um, yeah. John actually had to pick me up to take me around the way. So, yeah. And the first time he did it, he didn't know you'd bumped in, did he? Or like looking yeah, to see what like, happened? Yeah, he's just like, what the hell's that? Can <laughs> I get out and like see who it was? And I'm just yeah. like sitting there like, oh, like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Can you imagine just driving it back here, yeah. mate, if we were at lights? I was like, 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 boom, but I just like, I just like, go, yeah. like, we bang. But the next day, like, obviously, we'd get up early to leave and he's just like, please don't bang at me on the way to <laughs> <laughs> 
So this is from Jamie's missus has told us this one. And you can confirm or deny it, but she swears that you used to shave your legs because you said it made you run quicker. <laughs> now just repeat that. He said that he used to shave his legs because it made him run quicker. I did right. just shave my legs right back. That was, wasn't it, was it? Was it not? Yeah. She I said, said that I, you were To be fair, I, I probably did say that to her. Yeah. Like just like laughing and that, but no. Because cyclists do it, don't they? Because of yeah, the aerodynamics yeah. of it. You were just, you were just, no, obviously. I might have a little thought in my head that it was, it was true, but. Just like the I mean, I, I'm, I'm slow, though, I mean, so I need every. <laughs> <laughs> every, every advantage. Every, yeah, that, every yeah, advantage. Yeah, just like the smooth feel of a yeah, leg. Yeah. Love it, mate. <laughs> the other one is about the dead rabbit um, at the training oh. ground on the windshield, so I'll let you carry on with that one as well, mate. <laughs> I was just like. It was weird because that training ground was like. You see, like St George's Park? For England, yeah. Parts from it's like Scotland's one. Oh, really? It's like the sports centre, yeah. But we trained there before they built it. So obviously, when they built it, we just kept her a bit there. And obviously, like Scotland and that we trained there. And uh, we had like a French bar, I can't remember his name, like Clevy Dicamona or something. Right. So like me and John were always up, you know, like, like nonsense and into drinking. Like, I don't think many people like us. <laughs> and there was like this rabbit. It was just like lying. It was like dead. We yeah. parked in like it just like. It wasn't like parking spaces or that, it was just like in the woods. Yeah. So it was like a dead rabbit. And uh, obviously like we've picked that up, put it on this guy's wind <laughs> But I like put it like at the top and it's yeah. like bleeding in that. And yeah. it's just like straight, like falling down the window. <laughs> Blood everywhere. So like obviously like we just drive away like laughing and that. Drive back from in. And then in the morning like the clouds came in, he's like, Who the hell, like, put the rabbit on my window? And like, we're just sitting there. Like, nah, I don't know, isn't that? And I, I don't actually know to this day if he actually. Like, no, yeah. There was obviously rumours because we were always up to nonsense, but yeah. I don't think he actually knew to this day if it actually was, it's not me. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And is there anything else from up there that you can remember, like stories with, with John or any other players? There's one like Doyle, actually. Go on. Because, uh, he. <laughs> We're like sitting in the physio room, like chalk. I was in the physio room again. Uh, there's like a couple of beds and a few seats, and then like I think Doyle maybe had like someone was moving up with something like that, but we never knew. All right. At this time, yeah. not like bad, just like the hour, like and yeah. had like a thinking like maybe been up since maybe like five or four in the morning. Yeah. And like we were just like yeah, a bit banter to and fro, like and uh, somebody like says it was like you know John says something about Doyle, but I can't, I can't actually remember what it was. And he just honestly stood up like that and see like that was me and that was Johnny went, used to I'll kept fucking bumping you like that. <laughs> and honestly, honestly, his hands were like massive yeah. and we just sunk into your chair. That was the first time like I thought, oh my god, like she's uh, yeah. <laughs> He looked Love so that. angry, I was yeah. oh my god. He's a big lad, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big friend, mm, yeah, big yeah. hands and like <laughs> he just been up quite early that morning, like just took it a bit too far, and he just went, like, "Just to, oh no, fucking!" I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> that is brilliant!" Isn't it? Well, and did you remember it as well? Does you remember doing it? If you've well, to now, be fair, like I didn't ask him. Obviously, I played with him in that, but yeah, yeah. I never, I wasn't really proper playing with him. So like, no. when he left up, so I never really kept in contact. Yeah, and I'm scared to mention it. I've not got John's backup, so yeah, yeah. I'm not even. Unless you mention it to me, I'm never mentioning that again. Well, I'll tag, you, tag him in <laughs> it, I'll tell, tell him. <laughs> is, is, is there anything else as well that you can remember from the past? Because people love these stories, the private yeah. films, or what else? There's no many I can remember. There was one with, with John as well. <laughs> and this one's like quite, like, it's not like a bad story, but it's quite funny. And uh, remember Daniel Stendhal, the manager that was at Barnsley? Right? Yeah. He yeah. also kept cards. Yeah. And he was a mad, mad guy, like many yeah. He just wanted to change everything, change the way he played, change, like, just the mental. And then John had obviously done his Achilles, so he was, like, out injured. And then, uh, obviously, like, he's coming back, he's coming back. Like, I could see the goals for fun at the uh, season we got relegated, yeah. when the season got cut with COVID. Yeah. And then, I could see the goals for fun, fun, right? And then, obviously, John comes back in, plays one game. And we're all just, like, sitting in this meeting. After the game, we've got beat again, and he says, John, like that, and he's German accent. Everyone at the club, they tell me you're a good player, like you come back, we be solid at the back, everyone play good, we win, you come back, you're a superstar, blah blah blah. Says, you've come back and now we are worse at the back. <laughs> 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 yeah, just like stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah. like you're just a mad guy. <laughs> and then you never like you've done well at Barnsley to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really the the credit to like high pace and that and it was a bit mad. But. What um talking about managers, I want to ask this one. We didn't have it in the script, but you mentioned Derek Adams. What what were you like to play under? I didn't mind it, you know. Um, mm. It probably didn't suit me to like mm. the, the uh, ability that I had, but 
I know I mentioned him before, and like I was, I respect him for giving me the opportunity to play in England again, uh, and obviously bring me to this football club. If it wasn't for him, I'd play. Yeah, he exactly. Wouldn't be here, not, I mean. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> we don't thank him often, <laughs> yeah. but thank you yeah. for that. If you're watching. <laughs> So, obviously, I respect him for that. Yeah. To be fair, it wasn't that long after he got sacked. Yeah, true. It wasn't, yeah. Were you a bit miserable? And I think it's just like his own company. He was, like, just yeah. kept himself to himself. Uh, he never, like, when he went to our club, he never really took many coaches. No. It's funny that I need to have assistant that he takes with him. Like, usually they do, don't they? Yeah. It's hard because I also had the debate, like, obviously, like, I don't think people like like the way he played. Yeah. But like he took Plymouth up, you know what I mean? He took yeah. him off mm-hmm. really too. Like he must be doing something right. He must well, get something out of being good before. Doing it right, get out of the Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I just think he didn't suit our club. Yeah. Really, if that makes it's sense. It's different. Uh, I think, as I said, like as a player, as a manager, it's different when you're going to a club and the yeah. expectations there and that. And I think like if he plays like that in Malcolm, no disrespect to Malcolm, like are people going to grumble and that if he's really games where he's like you come to Bradford, you come to other big clubs and. No, they want to see you winning games, but they want to see you like, playing well as well. Yeah. I don't think, as you said, you maybe never suit the performance yeah. much. But I can see why we employed him, because yeah, yeah. Yeah, his record in that league was unbelievable. We had no qualms, did yeah. we? When we, we came in, it, 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 we thought we were going to be brilliant. and Just sometimes it just don't work out, was it? It's not yeah. the right fit. And yeah. It's the same players, isn't it? You yeah. can play clubs and it don't quite work out. Perhaps it was like players in my career, and you think, like, he was in the desk and then went somewhere else and scored like 40 goals. Or, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like yeah. you play with somebody and you say to him like, oh, maybe he was unbelievable and yeah. they'll say, oh, I played with him. You know what I mean? It's just the way for years and it's just a lot of opinions and that. Of course it is, yeah. And we have them, don't we, on Twitter. It's, uh, it can be yeah. toxic at times. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was best you played with, you said? Played with and against? Uh, played against, like, uh, Roger Van Dijk. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like, just couldn't get near him. Yeah, like, far yeah. too good for the league. Like, yeah. it wasn't even, like, a contest. It was just, like... Unbelievable score three kicks, just like you run from the back through with the ball with the goal. It's like yeah. it's like me playing against my son, that way. It was unbelievable, yeah, yeah. and then you look to where he's went. Yeah, uh, went best in the world now. Yeah, mm. yeah played with like played with Reese James, right? But oh, yeah. Chelsea, he came along to win, and he was the same. He was very, very Can you tell though, like when you play with these players who come along, can you tell they've got something special? Uh, yeah, he did. It's hard because I think, like, sometimes you get people on loan. I was at Hearts, and we've got a few people on loan. Like yeah. From big clubs, and you think, like, oh, that's a good sign, and they never do that well. Uh, so it's a bit of hit or a miss, I think, yeah. in the loan market, but he was very good. Another one, Nick Powell, he was, yeah, like, mm-hmm. yeah he was at Man United, wasn't he? Yeah. Probably the best ability. Really? Like, I played with yeah. Unbelievable. Could do whatever he wanted uh, yeah. with the ball, like, score goals, score headers. He's yeah. so good, and I think, like, I don't know. I don't know where he is now. He's at Stoke. Stoke, yeah. Stop. 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 yeah. yeah. Because it, it didn't have injury. Yeah, uh, he's had well. a few bad injuries and that. He was a very laid back, like, I don't know if that was like his detriment or what, or that's just how he was, but I thought he was like, he was unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I suppose they stand out to you as well, don't they? Like, they're uh, in a different, different group. I think that, obviously, playing back home at the old summer balls that good players, you know what I mean? Like, Wanyama was at certain games, and all that sort of machine. Uh, like, Dembele and that, they were obviously. Kieran Tierney's yeah, for Arsenal. Top, yeah. Yeah, so. Did you ever any yeah. battles with any players in Scotland that you had like a bit of a, a, a rivalry with? Oh, really? No. I just like. I dived once against Kieran Tierney, didn't I? Did you know? Did you know? Look up. Is it class? I was the worst dive in the world. But I got a penalty. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he scored a penalty, and then I'll say I got like a two match ban after. Did you? So they got two yeah, bands for it? Because yeah. no. it's funny the way that you play. Um, I always compare you to Grealish, which would probably be quite pleased with yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. Call you the Gorgi Grealish, yeah, but <laughs> it seems to be that I don't know if you do this on purpose, it seems to me like you do, but you seem to draw fouls, so you'll take that extra touch. Yeah, yeah. And then, mm-hmm. like Grealish does. Yeah, yeah. Is that the purposefully done then? Is that what you do? Well, I, like I said before, I'm here, like, I've never been the quickest, not me. Yeah. And I uh, think obviously when you're like that, you more inclined to use your body, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think I do do that quite well. Use my body by get to go. I've seen it a lot this season. Mm-hmm. I've really noticed yeah, it because yeah. you yeah. just get your body in front and yeah. it's like they know what you're going to do, but they're still going to follow you anyway yeah. because if they don't do it, you're probably away. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been interesting. So yeah, yeah. And that haircut as well, so I like the Gorgi Grealish, show you? That's that COVID haircut, that yeah. Yeah. Never coming back. Yeah. What's your next What's your next haircut? I'm just I'm 29, I'm a daddy too, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I think you should go for common rolls today. Or some power yeah. number strikes. I can't, get, uh, can't go too, too bad. Though. Too sensible now. Yeah. 
Till end of the season. Yeah. We'll yeah. I, on that topic, actually, um, I don't know if you remember this, but you did actually say yeah. that you might get a tattoo for a goal. I agreed to that one. And he's still agreeing to it. Yeah. Can we shake hands on the camera? There you go. Look at that. There you go. What, uh, Big full that? back piece of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are well, you facing it? Yeah, yeah my face as <laughs> well, yeah. That's it then. Nah, I don't know. I'll get some of it. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. If we go up. Love that. Not even if we went leg, if we go up. Yeah, I suppose you could get in your leg again as well, so you can share. Yeah, yeah make it look nice. Okay, cause it will get. No, but I don't know what I get. We'll have to think of something. You're checking or something. Else. What's that? A chicken? <laughs> <laughs> a wee chicken. We could get the sticker out of your nose. Yeah. Love the chicken. Love the chicken. Yeah. yeah. Right, the finish. Yeah, we're going to win. Don't expect it. Don't expect it. Love that. And, and on about the squad and Ray Lewis and that, who's who's like your best mates in the, in the squad? Who do you get on with the best? Because Paul's a wee man, money before. Yeah. Right? Well, uh, because like I think like you like a group, you kind of attach yourself to the people who are like got stuff in common. You know yeah. what I mean? Paul's you got two young kids and yeah. this is this is and all this is like you just kind of attach them. And um, obviously he left, and you know Harry, Ryan, me, him, and that. yeah, <laughs> we go for a coffee every Thursday. So. Yeah. Um, it's got a good group of lads, like a really good group of lads, and obviously, like, and he's like the heart and soul. You know what I mean? Is it? Yeah. Uh, Making dads. Oh, it's just naked all the time. Sitting <laughs> <laughs> so getting yeah. like a rub of my calf yesterday because obviously I had my calf at Johnny on the winter, so I've been like, quite sure the last couple of games. Yep. Uh, and just like getting on my calf, just look over, and he's just like, the physio, are you ready? And he's just like, <laughs> standing in the skirt. And he's like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like to be fair, a good guy. He's done so well this season. Yeah, I believe. Uh, I think, <coughs> like, let's be serious. Like, goals in the games, and if it for his goals, we play maybe a bit harder the table. Yeah, uh, but I've got another story actually. Like the other day, <laughs> so like I think it's like Thursday or whenever it is. We do like meetings with defenders, like first midfielders, attackers last. So yeah. maybe we finish training. It's like one. And the attackers now got me until round forty-five. Yeah. So Andy's obviously in the strikers. <laughs> Which is a dangerous game when Andy's got nothing to do for <laughs> 45 minutes. Keep right? him occupied, keep yeah. him sensible. Yeah. And I think there was like a there was like a week tubby super glue, obviously going around and changing the map. Somebody's in trouble here. Andy's got 45 minutes and there's a tubby super glue yeah, yeah. on the in the, the training ground. So obviously like defenders go in, midfielders go in. So Manny comes back out <laughs> looking around. It's like flip flops are there. He obviously doesn't know. Yeah. But Andy's like after, so Andy's away now. And yeah. the strikers meet and Manny's came back out. He was still like stick his flip flops in and Andy's super glued one to the, <laughs> one to the floor. And he's no, like, yeah. forward, man. Oh my god. But I was in the attack of me as yeah. well. So like it was kind of maybe like the change rooms here and yeah. to me it was like up here. So yeah. obviously we could hear all like hello balloon yeah. laughing and that from there. Yeah, yeah. And like, oh, I was like, what's going on through there? And I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm not gonna play something. <laughs> but I heard like after like Manu was like he, like pulled them off. And, like, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Just, like, is he a proper like, character then like to be around? Is it just Yeah, just like always so bubbly, like just like bubbly and just always up to something. Yeah. Just like that story there. Like, Nothing else from him that you can you can think of from this season. It's just like hmm, there's like an ice bath in the change room. It just like it just like gets closed off. They go and shout at me. Just jump in this like <laughs> head first. Splash everyone. And I'm just like Andy, what are you doing? Like, just, you know, I'm just chill out. Yeah, just like that. But it's just like constant and yeah. you know, he's up in the change room. Oh, brilliant! Especially yeah. when he's scoring goals, he's just so really confident. It's like, a yeah. great character yeah. to, to be around. Yeah, so. it's, it's been brilliant in mean, this season, yeah, like you said, and, and and you know Harry Lewis has been. I think even like after that. He, yeah, I don't know if my name who it was, but Andy had a toothbrush in his and he washed back. <laughs> so I, I don't know if anything actually happened, right. but Andy was like, I'm chucking the toothbrush because he was a bit suspect that his <laughs> wash back had been Something tampered with, yeah. yeah. And he thought, I'm just chucking it anyway, but I don't know if anything actually really happened to him. So. Is there anybody else like that's a bit cheeky in dressing room? Who else sort of gets up to a bit of mystery for us? Is, is, is he the main man? Yeah, he's like the main Is it? Oh, yeah. 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 It's weird because see at the start of the season there wasn't much really going on. Well, it was a new squad with lots of new people. Mm-hmm. Sixteen years old. Yeah. So it was a bit more like quiet and that. Uh, but as the season goes on, and, you know, when we're winning games, yeah, it's always that extra like a bit like nonsense in that. Yeah, happened, that means, so, yeah. You get close, though. You can see it. I like what said a couple of times on here. You can see the bond like in the team. Yeah. Yeah. Massively, yeah. Even just like when we go for a coffee in first place, it's like. A wee wheel, it's everyone's name on it, so for a coffee, we just spin it and like whoever loses pace with the coffee, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just like, we bits of fun like that, so quite good. Yeah, I yeah, love it. Looks like good to keep it fresh as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And you play darts a lot, don't you? Yeah. I'm is that, is, are you best? Yeah. Andy Cook, uh, Andy Cook, what, like that release? Both for me, after sure. Is it? It's weird because I had a dartboard back home, and yeah. it's not been my dad, it's never ever played. 
for say I was injured, so I had a lot of spare time on my hands. Yeah. And usually, like, day of work, like, after the boys have done theirs, so, you know, obviously, in the training ground, that's for a bit late. And uh, just, like, kept playing, kept playing, and, you know, obviously got better. Yeah. There's been a few games for, like, money in that recently. So it's getting a bit serious, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was looking on the bus yesterday, actually, on the way to Ultra, from the dark, so. Are you looking uh, for the flights? <laughs> no, it's getting a bit serious now, yeah. yeah so, no, it's good. Have you planned it? Has Andy played with you? Yeah, Andy's good. You've had losing though? Yeah. Uh, or is he alright? Nah, if he's winning losing, he's just like. Do something stupid, I don't know. <laughs> right, just, yeah, yeah. Throw it at the roof or something. Just like, <laughs> oh, yeah. just, oh, just just mad. Love it. Yeah. But a quick question about uh, Stevenage, the fire alarm. Well, the fire alarm incident in Stevenage, are you? Yeah. What happened there? Can you tell us? Just like we were in the rooms and like, I was just sharing with Mark Derbyshire. So, uh, like, I'm quite anti social. So, he was just sitting there. I was just sitting there. So, the fire alarm actually done me a favour because I got out for a bit. You know what I mean? We were just sitting for like two hours, not speaking. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, the fire alarm went off, just like a normal fire alarm. I was like, oh, geez. Just like, no, he's just like, wait for like five minutes, mm-hmm. so like, hoping this goes off. Like 10 minutes past, 15 minutes past, like, still going. So I was like, bang, bang on the door. Like, everyone outside, like, you know what I mean? Obviously, I have to go outside, but obviously, like, there were rumors that, like, Steve Evans, like, I'll say, put Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we asked, yeah. yeah. I don't know if they did. Like, it won't surprise me, because... there was the thing with it, we had a warm up yeah. one at Steve Evans, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, well, they want the ground someone yeah. like warm up. Well, they were warming up at the exact same time. Like, yeah, he's yeah. done a few of these tactics yeah, on Steve yeah, Evans. Yeah. Like, yeah. not quite the fireworks outside the uh, Real Madrid dressing room for yeah. Liverpool. Though. We'll won't talk about Liverpool. Oh no, actually, you're on a good win, aren't you? Yeah. Because you're a Liverpool fan, aren't you? Yeah. You're buzzing. I mean, love Liverpool fans since I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, obviously, like, I mean, it's a fan like Hearts and the team. Yeah. As a result, I always look out. When we finish on like a, when it was a game finishes, I go on my phone. I was at the Hearts goal. Yeah. Liverpool. Like, even when I was at Wigan, it was quite close to getting there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I went quite a bit. Even that, like, like, just small things like that, like, there's a few Man U fans, there's a few Chelsea fans, and, yeah. you know, Man U were getting, like, ahead of the station, not yeah, really. Yeah, and yeah. they got scouts in, and now, and, you know, like, Dion and Isha and that were, were very quiet. And <laughs> after, uh, <laughs> yeah. I put in the chat, they uh, tagged them, and I put the... Well, they remember the knowledge on about it, she's like, well, are you like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Never got a reply, so <laughs> seen them at training the next day. Yeah. Is the group chat a bit bonkers? Then? You can't tell us too much about it, but is it? Nah, it's not. Is it not? Just like, like the same, like, loads of like, just stupid stuff. And gifts and memes and, yeah. and all that. Uh, a few for me when England lost in the World Cup. But oh, I think, yeah, yeah. I think Andy was close to like saying something. <laughs> See this, <laughs> Andy. <laughs> I can imagine fuming. But nah, yeah, it's just like just stupid gifts. Like, yeah, stuff yeah. like probably like what your group chats are like, not me. Yeah, we're all, they're all yeah. same, aren't they? Yeah. Up and down the country. Man. So, um, obviously, going on there, back to playing with Mark, when we're going to see some more goals from you? Yeah, I'm going to get a shoot. Um, From anywhere, sure. Anyway, well, yeah. I shot last night when I probably should have passed, so yeah, you know what I mean? We've got to get an eye on it. But obviously, I came back against Stevens, got a, a goal there, and I was going to get family just tonight, and I thought, oh, I've made it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but nah, hopefully, between now and the end of the season, I can obviously check out a few more goals. But as the team's winning, I'm not keeping good cheats, yeah. and you know, I'm happy with that as well. So. Yeah, I'll play with two now in the season, I think it's definitely a few more goals. Yeah, we we'll look better than that, don't we? No, yeah, we look like we're strong. Yeah, and yeah. It, it seems to coincide with you coming back. Uh, I know. I'll just take credit for yeah, that. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm yeah. not, because I came back. It literally is, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but nah, I think as a back four as well, we look really like Harry at the back four, yeah. who prepared the last yeah. couple of months. So if you're keeping close sheets, you've always got a chance of winning a game. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Stubbs has looked good as well, yeah, so it's coming yeah, in, it's yeah, solid. Yeah, yeah. It's hard work in it though, I mean, obviously, from, from a fan point of view, we, we like Critchlow as well, so yeah. Platt and Stubbs are playing well. It must be so hard to get in the squad at the moment. Yeah, I've seen, obviously, like, almost probably up there with one of our best players in the first half yeah, of the season. Yeah. Uh, great football, like, yeah. so, uh, as you said, it's, even Dion, like, I played with, like, maybe people who have came this year, not fans, like, the players probably maybe not seen the best of him. No. But also, like, I played with him last year, and, like, when he's on it, I know how good a player he is, yeah. you know what I mean? I well, you two connected really yeah. well last season, didn't I think you? when I played number 10, he played wide, he was so good at taking the ball in, yeah. and maybe they sent him out to go over and fill back, and he'd attack players, and it leave space for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And, like, towards the end of last season, that's when I was, like, playing really well. Uh, but as you said, he's not really played much this season, he's got a good squad there. It's been tough, yeah. There's a lot of bodies in, in yeah, it's hard for people to get in, like Osadibi as well. Yeah. I mean, that's incredible how, how quick he's come back yeah. from that leg, because... Well, he's another one who's like, quite lively. Well, I've seen pictures, that. I'm going to ask you, yeah. he's out, he's out there. He's not really, like, he's not really up to mischief and that, but he's always just like dancing and like singing, and, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And obviously, I'd done my rehab when he was doing his rehab, yeah. and we got like quite a close bond in that, and you know, 
see him come back at Doncaster, get the reception yeah. uh, from the supporters. You know, it was probably just a good feeling for me, like yeah. seeing that for him as it was for him. So. Is it? Do you buzz off it a bit, like when the supporters do stuff like that? Is it? Is it really important to the players? Because obviously, if we don't probably appreciate as much, yeah. you know, making noise for you all. Is it? Does it give you a buzz? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you hear fans like singing, yeah, yeah no, it probably like, it does help you a lot. Uh, they're following it, don't cast that out. Really? Yeah, so it helps a lot, I think. Like, it just gives you that extra. Yeah, it's a bit of a joke. I've said it lots in the paper and that. I've done interviews, like, it's one of the reasons why I signed here. Like, yeah. I think if like, it wasn't like all we do with money and that, it was like the club, basically, you know what I mean? Like, a big club. And, mm. I always say to like, my partner quote me like I've always been lucky enough in my career to play for clubs who are like are quite well supported and like played at like quite a high level, you know what I mean? I've never yeah. really had to go up to like a maybe a so called so like smaller club and that, so I'm not like thankful for that. If it was I've seen my kids are at school and that if it wasn't for Bradford I probably would be maybe just like back home, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Do you think you're here to stay then? Because obviously you moved all your family down, it's a big upheaval, isn't it? Do you love it? Yeah, I do, like I love playing with playing with yeah. Bradford, you know what I mean? It's, it's obviously been a tough season with injuries and suspension and, and stuff like that, but uh, I think for me personally, like, I play my best when I get a run again, you know what I mean? Like if I'm in and out and then stop start and like, you won't see the best of me, so hopefully now until the end of the season I feel like I've gone and yeah. supporting like, that fucking fans and the it's fantastic. Do you know what, this, I think that you're the sort of player and Dick will probably agree with me on this, that we just love it, city because, mm. like you say, we said it earlier that you you know you live on the edge of it. And you just you, you you know you wear your out and you sleep and you just yeah. you, you battle for everything. Yeah, I think like yeah. the same when I go and press and stuff. Like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, the fans really appreciate it that. Buzz off it, uh, absolutely buzz yeah. off it. Yeah. Sometimes a tackle, a proper tackle, yeah. when you're flying in, you might get yellow card for it now and yeah. you, but it's you get a right buzz off it more like a, yeah. a goal. Yeah, yeah right. Like, literally, if you go and put in a good tackle, or you yeah. go press and you go press again, like it gets the fans off their seat. I mean, yeah. every piece like. Team of lift and yeah, yeah. gives the fans a lift, not I mean, maybe that you need. So yeah. How's um how's your boy enjoying Bradford? Because he's got all the kits and then he's loving coming down. Yeah, I think he loves the games. The same for him, like he'd go to LA to watch Harps and that. Yeah. I think like because one of the no uh, disrespect to Livingston, but that was one of the clubs that, that wanted me to go there and loan from Harps and they probably get oh, man, I didn't know what to get maybe like a couple of thousand fans and he was like, yeah. come on man, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I was yeah, just like, yeah. what do you want me to do? <laughs> Uh, but as I said before, I was kind of just at like a, at an end of footy. Like I was just like first time in my career, I've never really had that love in, and it's a bit strange. You know what I mean? I, yeah. It was, a, it was a tough one, and then obviously then Derek caught in touch, and it's an opportunity to come here. No deal, you wanted to go and sit in that. Yeah, he doesn't want to sit on drums. You said that. Yeah. He's got like the stickers on the back. He's got heart stickers, and he's got bath stickers it? on the back of his iPad. So love it. Uh, I don't know if it's just because he's at that age now where. He, when you, when you go watch your hearts when he's just like a bit younger, he's just like, oh my gosh, he's going to get into it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think he realises that like, it's a job and like, you know what I mean? He's just got that bit more passion. He's uh, the mate, his wee mate and his team, he's a Bradford fan. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, they're like my adopted Bradford family. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. They're just like, pick him up for training tonight because I was doing this. And yeah. So I got him tickets for last night because it was too late for my, my kids to go. Uh, but no, it's good. And, yeah, obviously, obviously get them, they've got them tickets, so we just like went to win them all the time because there's no one else really here. So, yeah. Not a question, what we want to ask, like, what, what do you get up in Brat? What do you get up to in Bradford? Have you got any other favourite things? Is that what you do? Coffee, coffee. Drinking coffee. <laughs> you love a coffee, it's also star coffee. Yeah, it's got a love affair with it. Yeah, I just, it was like John Sutter, the weekend they got me in. Did it? He's got his own coffee shop. Has it? Uh, yeah, it's back home in the uh, weekend, so. You should open one. Yeah, if you open yeah. a coffee shop on here, it'd be yeah. absolutely good. You awesome. come, yeah. Yeah. All safe fans <laughs> love it, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I know. Call it Walkers. What do you call it? Walkers. Walkers Coffee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. JW10. Yeah, that was that was coffee. <laughs> Stan. Stanning, isn't it? Proper Stan. Love it. But um, yeah, I'm out for like mostly it but the kids so we get just the usual stuff like going and that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's like we need to be in the training for ten, but yeah. you start school at quarter past eight. Yeah. So I'll say I leave the house at like seven forty five and go to the school at the training ground, but just drop it there. Now I usually just go to the training ground early and like usually by the time I finish I may play that a bit after. Yeah. And then by the time he finishes it's three forty five, we get home at like half four, so it's not really like yeah. quite a long day, isn't it? Course it is yeah, it. So. Not moving for curry yet, because obviously it's a curry capital breakfast. Uh, but you do curry. Uh, no, I do, I like mm. spicy food but yeah. 
I just don't know. I need some recommendations. Oh, <laughs> loads. Barrett's International. Yeah. There goes. Uh, Start with that. I think, yeah, a couple of them. Sean or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bingley. Bingley, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. That was nice, yeah. Is that where you are then? Are you eating small and Bingley or are you salt air? No, I'm like salt air. I don't feel like going along salt air high speed. Don't, don't, don't tell anybody, bloody hell. Nah, no, just go away. Uh, <laughs> salt air. That's like the porphyry it's called. Yeah. And you just go up there to your left. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was only right. It's quite quiet in that and I can like Yes, it's nice to salt out actually. Yeah. There's a lot of history going on in my view. Because also, look, Henry, he's also yeah. brought up here and he saved that. Like, he's got a lot of history. Mm. Dude, uh, who were, who were, I was still in Bradford and play wise. Who else was here? Do you know? I'm not sure. Because everyone seems to travel in, don't they? Yeah. 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 It's always it's interesting. Things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there were story ones that they were coming down on a separate bus at one point. Who? Just people yeah. in the North East lads. Oh, they were all rubbish. Yeah. Yeah, people just like, like, like it's on Twitter and stuff, they just put loads of yeah. crap on it. Yeah, they could lift themselves, yeah, trapped away again. It's true because like, everything, like, I've not got a cut of it. No, you do better than that. Also, like, I mean, it's the same as stuff now. Yeah. I'm just it from being a hard place. Yeah. It's the same, like, it's the same at like, any big club. Yeah. One week, you're like, unbelievable, mm-hmm. next week it's like, oh, Jesus, this and that. That's, yeah. that's just football, I mean. Does it, affect, does it affect players, do you think? I think like some it does, does it? as I said before, like some people's maybe not like experienced it before. Yeah. Like, I've got like past experiences and before like it probably would affect me, like maybe somebody would say something like just read down like, who are you talking to? Like, no, I mean but now I'm like older and more experienced and like it doesn't like it doesn't really bother me that way. Like it got happened, like I got sent off at Mount and then like, what, two weeks after I've scored two and a week, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just football, I always say if say I go to eat maybe like a young kid just like footy camp or just like speak. I'll just say like you never get too high, and never get too low. I mean, yeah. try to keep a meter ground and so you take it from there. So. Yeah, they're never as good as people say, but you never as bad as well. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a lot on Twitter, but I mean, you get with it. You you do all right, really. Yeah. Everyone loves you. Yeah. You're not so bad. You and you, Harry and Cookie, are just yeah. And I get it. Like people get frustrated. Like yeah. I was talking to Adam Clayton after like join them. Obviously, we won two now. Yeah. There was like three, four hundred fans here. I'm thinking like. See, like, you lose like three hours, they've just travelled four hours, you know what yeah. I mean? They watch us fucking like, play yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can get where people come from, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Ah, ah, like, obviously, we don't mean to lose, yeah, we don't mean to play bad, but like, we were just going back, we're off Wednesday. Like, I'll be sleeping Wednesday morning. Like, these yeah. people are like paid going to their work and that, you know what I mean? Like, you do, some things you don't like appreciate, like, that support, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's interesting it says that because you know you don't even think about it. No, you, don't, no. you travel because you love to go. Like, you just go like go oh, flat the fans yeah. and we'll be away. We're off Wednesday, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's like mm-hmm. people probably getting back to jail and three, four in the morning, they're walking like, seven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's when something you can respect yeah. by people like probably get a bit angry and have that thing, you know what I mean? That's just what it's like. Yeah. It's heated the moment a lot of times, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. We go on Twitter after yeah. that, I mean, when you buy yeah. anything, then probably wake up Sunday morning and think, oh, not actually that bad, but <laughs> I can do that really like my own performance, like yeah. Yeah, something like, like last night, every week, it's good because like, I've been in previous week, but then you like look back over it the next day and you think, like, maybe it's bad as like, actually yeah. thought, you know what I mean? Or maybe the other way you think, oh, it's not actually as good as I actually thought, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. like, keep that like, level, middle ground, as I say. Yeah. Yeah. You miss a trick game, by the way, because I said what are your best favourite things about Bradford and you're not so the bad boy chiller crew. Yeah. And they are, aren't they? Yeah. You love them, don't you? <laughs> I'm going to see them. I love that. I'm going to see them. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like a couple of months. So. Yeah. And they've been in touch with you and stuff like that. Yeah. My guy, Kelly, he's, he's my mate. So. <laughs> I love that shout out. Yeah. 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 He's going to shop me tickets. So, yeah. yeah. Love it. Actually, like, as in pre season, like, me and Paul's were sharing the room. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm so bored, Paul. So, like, this is like, just trained, it's like roasting, like, I'm like, I was angry at me, she's like, bad boy chiller. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 she like, yes. just folks is also like a dance Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just she like, there's no, I think I took a photo, and like, there's no bigger banter than this one. <laughs> Send it to GK, and then like, I see just went to sleep for getting it done. It. Yeah. I woke up in the morning, I was like, like, Fozzie, I've got a voice note. <laughs> He's like, no, you got I was like, oh, I do. <laughs> I can't remember what I said. Oh, God, what a better thing. All right, Mush. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. 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 Do you know what, though? Like in Scotland, you've got that sort of music, haven't you? Like that like, yeah, donkey like, dancing music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of big. Yeah. Especially when I was growing up as a kid. Like, yeah. That was we had it here, didn't we? Like bass line and yeah, stuff. It was all like big. Bluetooth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Bluetooth chump tunes to each other. Yeah, I remember those days. Yeah. So, feeling in the squad? Feel we're going to do it? Yeah, we're like comfortable. As I just said before, like, we don't want to get like, too tired away, you know what I mean? It's every like away game, as you seen last night, it's tough. Uh, but I don't know why would we not be confident. Um, what, one, two on the bounce and then two last night. We're keeping clean sheets, you know, I think it's probably the best 
money form we've been in yeah. this season. So yeah, we're confident and you know, getting to ahead ourselves and take each game as it comes and be about to take mm-hmm. I've got I've got the feeling this season. Yeah. I said it the other day and I think the run of form that you've been on kind of it's given us a lot of hope and you just look like you're winning games like you know that in different ways yeah. i've said that before especially in this league like so many games that i've played in this league like maybe even last season like start of season you are watching the game from the side you feel like it's one that way or one that way any team and like it's just balls coming in the box and it's like flashy past the post whereas like joining them and that it was just control you know what i mean yeah it was like no stress we just seen the game out and you know, i think both the, even donnie it was only one now and yeah. they never looked at the score you know what no. i mean yeah. They're just like controlling games and, you know, continue, yeah. Well, the Gillingham game, when you look at it, we look like we're a bit worried about it because they were in good form. Yeah. But yeah, it was like just totally in charge of the whole game. Yeah. Brilliant to see. As I just said, like, we could yeah. the game a lot. Yeah. I think last night, like, even myself, like, we're a bit, we played a lot of games. I think we played like five games in what, two weeks. And obviously, Rags has been injured, I've been injured. We've got a lot of people who's, mm. who's, who's like, not played a lot of football. So that's a good point. And I have clean sheet. And that's what we thought that like, we could. We get three points here, but we'll be right up at the top of the league. Does it take its toll a bit, Tuesday, Saturday, continuously? Does it, does it tie you out a bit, or does it not make much difference with the third place? Um, I think it does tie you out, yeah. especially if it's away from home, you know what I mean? Like, Jordan, I've mean, got back in the hands, I think it was like 4 a.m. in the morning, you know what I mean? Last night it was like 1.30, I think like that way it can take it out of you. Um, I think the more games you play, though, you like become more robust, you know what I mean? You just like, then you throw it where it's like, oh, you're happy then, you know, but. Tougher, you may pick up little niggles and that sort of thing, but I think if you ask most of the boys, they'd probably say they'd rather play as well, so yeah. you, can't, you can't really complain about it. You pick up a lot of points, so. Live for it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Live for it. Well, I think that's about it from us, isn't it? Unless there's anything you can think of. No, I think that's, that's it. Been brilliant, yeah. isn't it? Um, we'll just, yeah. couple, one more thing, if you could do it for us, just give us a bit of money for fucking chickens, if you can, as long as you can. I mean, the cameras are over that way, so just oh, yeah, yeah. arms up, whatever you want to do, yeah. Up the fucking chickens. There we go. <laughs>